Good afternoon, US. You are welcome again to my channel, Second Math Hub, the solution to your math problems. This is WASI 2025 Core Mathematics for Private Candidates, Composal Question 3. A cylindrical iron block of diameter 31.5 cm and a height 18 cm was completely melted. Now, after melting, 82% of the melted material was used to mold a sphere. You have to calculate correctly the nearest whole number, the radius of the sphere. So first of all, let's identify the dimensions of this iron block. Remember that this iron block is in the shape of a cylinder. So there is our cylindrical iron block. We were told that the diameter was 31.5 centimeters. But we want the radius. Remember that the radius is half of the diameter. Radius is half of the diameter. So 31.5 centimeters. So what is half of 31.5? So we have 15.75 centimeters. So the radius is 15.75 centimeters and then for the height it was giving us 18 centimeters so now the next step let's calculate the volume of the cylindrical iron block so the volume of the cylindrical iron block. So it's represented as V subscript C. So what's the formula for calculating the volume of a cylinder? Recall that the volume of a cylinder is giving us pi r squared h. So let's do the substitution. We have to take pi as 2217. We know our radius as 15.75 centimeters. So squared multiplied by the height, which is 18. So let's evaluate this. 2, 2 on 7. Multiplying 15.75 squared. Multiplying 18. So we have the volume as 140.33. Two five. Remember, this is volume, so the unit will be in centimeters cube. So now, after that, what happened? They use eighty-two percent of the metal of the melted metal to mold a sphere. So now, let's find eighty-two percent of. the volume of the cylindrical iron block remember 82 percent is the same as 82 out of 100 times the volume of the cylinder which is 14033 0.25 centimeters cube so again using our calculator 82 percent of 140 33.25 so we have one one five zero seven point two six five centimeters cube 
remember the 82 percent of the volume of the cylindrical ion block will have the same volume as the sphere to have the same volume as the sphere so let me get a space So with this, we can create an equation. So I'm representing the volume of the sphere as various aspects S. So as we said, the 82% of the volume of the cylinder must be equal to the volume of the sphere now with the 82 percent of the original volume we had one one five zero seven point two six five and what is the formula for calculating the volume of a sphere so the volume of the sphere is giving us 4 on 3 pi r q. So with this, let's do the substitution. We have to take pi as 22 on 7. So we have 11507.265. This must be equal to 4 on 3 multiplying 2 2 on 7 multiplying r cube so let's um, solve for the radius of the sphere so first of all that's what we're going to do let me repeat this again We are going to divide both sides by the coefficient of r cube, which is 4 on 3, multiplying 2, 2 on 7. On the left, we also divide by 4 on 3, multiplying 2, 2 on 7. So, you can see that this will cancel out. Let's evaluate this on the calculator. So for the numerator, we have 11507.265. And then the denominator, we have 4 on 3, multiplying 2, 2 on 7. So I'm having 2746. Point zero five one nine. This must be called R cube. That is to four decimal places. But we are looking for R. So what do we do? We need to take the cube roots on both sides. We take the cube root here. We take the cube root here. So again, using our calculator, let's find the cube root of 2746.0519. So that is 14.0015. That is to four decimal places. Again, we could see that the cube roots and the cube will cancel out. So we have R on the right. And so R will be 14 centimeters. That is nearest whole number. The nearest whole 
number. So we can conclude that the radius of the sphere is 14 centimeters. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, and share the video. See you next time.